Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Sunday 30th of August 2020 and as you can see we're in Colebrookdale at the Loamhole Dingle and also uh, also at the upper water courses. So yeah, uh, as you can tell, we're at the same starting point as a previous video today, which was surprisingly short. Uh, here we are, park bench. And here we are, with a local map of the Upper Furnace Pool and some local information. The Upper Furnace Pool provided water to the ironworks which is located on the far side of the viaduct to your right. The viaduct opened in 1864. Eventually, when water power was no longer needed for the furnaces and forges, the pool was abandoned. You can hear the water rushing over the sluices used to control the level of water. So yeah. What we're going to do today... is... walk up this road here to have a look at something that I saw in my one previous video here in Colebrookdale which we'll uh, talk about properly when we get there but after seeing it last time I figured it would be worthwhile coming back for another visit so yeah So what I'm going to do is walk up this road, pause, well, pause the video, pause recording, walk up the road and we're going to start the video again when we get to where we want to go. So yeah, I'll catch you in a few moments. So here we are, further up the road. It's uh, really beautiful around here. But if you're coming this way yourself, this is what you're looking for. This gate. and Seven Gorge Countryside Trust Rope Walk uh, No parking, gateway needed for working access Thank you for your cooperation and you've got a contact phone number there as well but As you can see it's open for access for pedestrians The Rope Walk. The name the Rope Walk refers to the making of rope on this site in the past. A long straight walk was needed to pull and twist the rope lengths. The wildflower meadows are being managed as traditional hay meadows and come alive in the summer sunshine with butterflies and bees feeding the oxeye daisies, cowslips, vetches and orchids. Walk along the rope walk next to the way marker which will take you down to Lomhole Brook. And we've got a map saying where we are and some sort of stuff going on. 
And I must say, I've got to take this moment to say, I've just had a chat with an amazing gent who lives uh, here in Colebrookdale and told me about some of the walks uh, doing, which I'm going to have to explore another day. And up that way uh, is a public footpath taking you to the Arboretum, I think he said. So it's going to be worthwhile exploring, going a public footpath that way. Then you've got Derby House along here. And according to the chap, once this road didn't exist, and uh, there was a wall along here, and this entire estate, this entire area, was part of uh, Deer Park. So and there's still remnants of Deer Park existing now, and there's still, and uh, the chap I just spoke to was talking about all kinds of other paths around Colebrookdale. It's going to be really interesting, and worth exploring. So thank you, sir. I do appreciate you. So yeah, going to have to get down to that. Really got me excited. So uh, mind you, I do apologise. I didn't ask your name. Um, so I apologise for not asking about your name to mention you right now, but you had a beautiful dog with you, beautiful, beautiful dog, and so, yeah, really enjoyed talking to you today, sir. Thank you. But as we continue on, we see the signpost here, talking about the Shropshire Way main route, and also we've got three potential footpaths to explore for the Seven Gorge Countryside Trust, red, green and blue, which are talked about here. And this is where we were in a previous video exploring Limehole Dingle, and this is toward the end of that previous video. And uh, so we've got the linear walk route marked by the green arrows. It's a 1.5 kilometer return route last 30 minutes, a gentle stroll along the historic rope walk, a surface path with no steep gradients, suitable for assisted wheelchairs. Then you've got the Sunnyside Circular, followed by the Blue Arrows, 600 metres, 20 minutes, uh, a short walk through the old Sunnyside estate, involving a gentle climb through historic woodlands, where you can see centuries old beach and lime. And then you've got the Lomhole Circular, a 1.5 a kilometre route, 45 minutes it takes you. A more vigorous walk with steps taking the breathtaking woodland valley of Lomhole Dingle. Along the route you will follow the winding brook as it turns down to Upper Furnace Pool for Colebrookdale. Uh, the trees provide damp shaded conditions allowing an array of wildlife to flourish, including an internationally important species of crane fly. And here, walking along this track, you are following the route of an old tra uh, tramway, where, in the late 1700s, horses would have pulled small tubs of limestone and sandstone to the various furnaces in the valley. This track was originally made using clinker, a byproduct of the iron making process, probably from Abraham Darby III's furnace. A 260 metre long wall marks the boundary of the old Sunnyside estate and Deer Park. Part way along the rope walk, the path runs along the edge of a rope walk meadow. This is a small but wonderful example of a traditional, unimproved hay meadow. The low fertility of the soil ensures that the land supports a wide variety of plant species and invertebrates such as orchids, quaking grass, hairy violets and green hair streak butterflies. So I think today we're going to be following the blue arrows during the Sunnyside Circular Walk, um, 600 metres and 20 minutes. So yeah. Now, in my previous video, it turns out that I did the Lomhole Circular route, the Red Arrow pathway, 
um, and I did that in reverse in my previous video um, so that will be interesting to do again but using this as my starting point but we'll see how it pans out like I say in the meantime we're doing the sunny side circular following the blue arrows but yeah Coming back to Cobrookdale for more videos, there's a... Whew, according to that gentleman I spoke to a few minutes ago, a lot of fascinating places to explore. And uh, I remember a couple of months ago when I was exploring all those places around Ironbridge. And I absolutely loved all of that. So, yeah. And if anyone's got any comments uh, with more information about some of the paths in Colebrookdale, um, and especially if a gentleman I spoke to earlier on, if you happen to be watching this video and you want to leave a comment below this video, by all means, do so. I want to say uh, thank you to you for talking to you a few minutes ago. That was really good. Well, I think at the moment we're going to pause recording for a few moments uh, while I get my bearings and find the next blue arrow to follow. And we'll go from there. See you in a few moments. So here's the field we visited last time and as you can see from this signpost to our right Welcome to Rope Walk Meadows Rope Walk Meadow uh, Seven Gorge Countryside Trust 0952 433 880 So yeah I imagine uh, when the weather's nice and dry and sunny, emphasis on the dry because no rain and all that, I imagine this little field here would be ideal for a picnic. So if you happen to be in Colebrookdale and you've got, I don't know, for example, uh, if you're by yourself and just want a few, quiet few minutes to have some lunch, or if you've got kids and family with you and we want somewhere to play, this would be an ideal place to bring them and it's really peaceful as well and uh, as I just said plenty of places to explore so plenty of opportunity to keep everyone interested all right so over here to our left we've got a gate And we've got a couple of arrows going on. The red arrow pointing straight on. Uh, no doubt for the loam hole dingle walk. But we're not going that way because, well, two reasons. We've already been that way. And also, we're going to be going that way again, perhaps, on a future video, on a future occasion. But what we're going to be doing instead is following the blue arrow. And I think the blue arrow means coming up through this gate here. Yep. Well. Always close gates behind you. So yeah, let's carry on this way. Oh yes, yes, we are on the right path. Got another blue arrow going on. Oh, uh, this reminds me of some of my first ever videos for YouTube. 
um, and I explored round Ligomri, specifically Apley Woods. And I was talking to someone a few days ago of how there's not really much in Ligomri. There's most, at the moment, most interesting locations in Ligomri. You can count on one hand. You've got Ligomri Community Centre, Ligomri Pools for a fisherman, uh, and then you've got the Moke Shovel Pub in Ligomri, which is the only pub in all of Ligomri, as far as I know anyway. And that's a good little pub. I do like the Moke Shovel. Uh, need to go back there again at some point. But the point is, it's unfortunate that uh, there's not much to Ligomri, especially when you compare it to somewhere like Colebrookdale, as we're seeing now, which has got so much and so many interesting things going on. All right, we've got signpost here. Rope walk back down that way. You've got the Holly Bank. Signpost Holly Bank. Going up that way, I think. I don't know, I'll have to check that out another day. But we're going to be following the sign to Derby Road. Sticking to the original path, this way. But yeah, it's like, places like Ligomri, I remember one of my first videos, I said that, well, one of my first ever videos, I said that Ligomri and Hadley were mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Uh, so we've got a hit, you know, only like a hamlet, five or six houses in Ligomri or something like that. So history going back a thousand years or more. But even today, with all that history, there's not much going on. Which makes me sad, I'll be honest, it does make me sad. Especially as I spent my teenage years going to... I lived in Telford as a teenager in, in Ligomri. But when you've got, like I said, Colebrookdale and Ironbridge, which I'm now learning has got so much great history and in, interesting stuff going on. So, uh yeah I mean I love I'm starting to really enjoy Telford and starting to really appreciate the place a lot more than I used to because I did used to hate the place but now I'm learning to love it just wish there was more going on in Ligomri okay so what do we have here this is a sustainable building for the future this building is the office of the Seven Gorge Countryside Trust, a charitable organisation responsible for managing 260 hectares of land in the Ironbridge Gorge for the benefit of local people, visitors and wildlife. The timber framed, framed building was completed in 2010 and trust staff and volunteers are now based on site. Shropshire Community Health NHS Trust, who part funded the building, will also use the premises for their health programmes and initiatives. The building has a number of eco friendly features that ensures the space has, is as energy efficient and sustainable as possible. A mechanical heat and ventilation recovery system uses the warm air generated within the building to heat the cool air coming from outside. This system ensures 90% of heat energy is recycled. The windows and doors were chosen on their energy efficiency rating and were positioned to maximise the solar gain. And here you've got some more information like the main form of heating for the building is provided by two 8 kilowatt wood stoves. They are fuelled by logs supplied during the management of our sites. 18,000 Cornish Western Red cedar, tr cedar Timber Shingles tiles were used 
on the roof with around 30,000 nails, all put in by hand. They are, fu they are full of natural oils and should last 40 to 50 years. The building is insulated using sheep's wool, a very breathable and energy efficient material. During the winter it absorbs moisture to keep the building warm whilst releasing moisture in the summer to cool the building. Some of the building has been constructed using timber from SGCT management, Managed Woodlands uh, with most of the rest from Shropshire. Larch has been used for timber columns within the open plan office space and cladding for the outside of the building. We've got a website to visit www.sevengorge.org.uk and a telephone number 01952 433 880. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see him this, to be honest. This was. This is a good surprise. There's me talking mid rant about Ligomri and everywhere else, and I see this little surprise coming on. Proper little hi hidden gem. So let's carry on this way. Yeah, I hope you can forgive me for having my little rant or complain going on. But yeah, it's just just a shame how certain things are. Welcome to Seven Gorge Countryside Trust Office and Volunteer Centre. Nice. So let's get back to the path we were on. Find some of those uh, blue arrows. Yeah, so it's going to be fun exploring Colebrookdale. It's going to take me a while to sort things out, but it's going to be worth the effort from what, I'm, what I've been told. Alright, so the signpost here points toward to rope walk and circular walk back in that direction I think I'll do the circular walk another day in a couple of months time or something like that we'll see what pans out instead we're going to stick to the blue arrow and head back to where we started Uh, by the looks of it, there's another, there's a start of another footpath up in that direction. But I have to visit that another day. That's going to be fun. That's going to be very fun. In the meantime, we're just going to head down here. So here we are. Back down the road. Back down the road. And as you can see, we're back where we started. I'll be honest, I'll have to check out information about uh, visiting, I'll visit that website www.sevengorge.co.uk and uh, I'll have to 
visit that uh, visitor centre, find out when it's open and visit there because that's going to be worth the effort I imagine. Maybe even become a volunteer. I don't know, I'll have to think about that, but again, if that proves something to do, definitely worth the effort. And if you're ever exploring this way yourself, always keep an eye out for these little signposts with local information. They are definitely worth reading. So yeah, absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do now is head back down this way and head back down there. So here we are, back where we started and as you can see more signposts showing the route for the Shropshire Way main route so they'll be worth exploring at some point and we're also on the National Circle Network Route 45 and from here this cycle route can get you down to uh, Ironbridge so that'll be worth exploring and doing some time in the future in the meantime in the meantime I'm going to be ending this video here and I want to say thank you for everyone watching this video if you liked what you see both in this video and in other videos hit the like button please subscribe and also uh, at least consider sharing videos around to anyone else who you know who might be interested in the videos I make. So, but in the meantime, thank you. Uh, I honestly, I know I always say this, but I do mean it. I appreciate everyone who's a subscriber to my channel. And I also appreciate everyone who watches my videos. So, thank you. It's true. Well, on that note, like I say, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I'll see you all soon in the next video. And take care of yourselves, be safe. See you all soon. <laughs>